Okay, so this is going to be a highly emotional, maybe not highly, but based on the way I'm feeling, it's weird feeling this way for this random ass topic, but for some reason, I don't know what's going on with my emotions today, but <clears throat> so today I was like, you know what? I really want to read more gay romances by one, male authors, which I read a couple, and black authors in general writing black stories. Every single one of the names that I searched that were black authors, every single one of their book covers was a white man. Every single one. And it very much came off as these stories were about white men. And I, I am like super, 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 super angry about it. And I don't know why it's weird. Like my stomach feels weird. I'm just really randomly angry. I don't know why. Like it upsets me that, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how to like talk about it without like being like, I, I'm just upset. If you listen to all of these, I appreciate you because I have not worked through my feeling. I don't, I just don't know why my stomach feels so like, I'm just super angry. So I sent that audio message to my sister at a time when I was feeling incredibly hurt, upset, it's the same word, but all the like words that describe just this sense of just deep sadness. And I couldn't really place where that was coming from. I mean, I knew that there was definitely like this anger towards the book industry or the publishing industry because I rarely see or read books about people who look like me. Now, this is something that has been talked about a lot on BookTube and I really, really appreciate it. I really appreciate seeing how people are making an effort to read books that they would normally read and making a point of looking for authors that they would not normally like gear towards. I think I need to talk th through this for myself and I definitely was able to talk to my sister and talk to my best friend and kind of work through my feelings on it and so why not Put it out there into the world. So, welcome to my channel. My name is Mishania. Let's get serious, I guess. So, firstly, let me give some background. That audio message was sent after I saw a post on one of my m slash book group recommendation groups that i am a part of on facebook and the post was made i think in june and it was asking for black or people of color authors i was super excited because i am i i think m slash authors are typically straight white women i've been fortunate enough to discover a good amount of male authors who identify as gay or queer or what have you. So I am happy in that sense, but I have not been able to find books by a lot of black authors or a person of color and definitely not seeing stories about people who have the same experiences that I do. When I saw this post, I was like, oh, amazing. Uh, you know, It had a lot of comments. So I expected it to have a lot of author recommendations. And I was like, yes, this is great. You know, I'm gonna like find these great black authors that are talking about 
black men or black women or you know black trans men or women just black people in general and I started I opened up Goodreads I started typing in these names and every single book except for one had a white person on the cover if there was a person I was I was so angry to the point of feeling like I wanted to cry and in talking to my sister I realized what I felt was I felt betrayed because I think as a black person you expect certain things from white people you just do it's unfortunate but you expect that white people are only going to write about other white people it should not be that way but you have seen your entire life in this country that these books are only about white people so when you get a black person who are now writing these stories you're expecting to be given books about black people or people of color and it's still it's still what you've been seeing what i've been seeing for 20 plus years i'm 32 but i came to this country when i was 10 so say 22 plus years or even before then because obviously i was reading in jamaica or whatever um so yeah definitely this deep sense of betrayal but then I took a moment to think about it and I had to give these authors grace because you have to think about one these authors are not as well known as their white counterparts two even if they're well known they're not as well bought as their white counterparts and so you're writing because you love the art of writing or the art of telling a story. But you're also writing in order to sell your books and what sells more than whiteness. And so I imagine that it is less likely for a book to be sold with a black man on the cover at, you know, than it is for a white man on the cover. So I had to give these authors grace and understand where they were coming from and then switch my thinking into understanding that the system is give, doing them a disservice. They, and I don't know if this is true for every, every one of these authors, but I know this to be true. They are putting out what they know will sell and what they know will be seen and what they know will be recommended. And it is not a surprise to any one of us. And if it is a surprise to you, you've been living under a rock. It is not a surprise to any one of us that romance is only for white people. That is the norm. If you turn on the Hallmark Channel or the Lifetime Channel, 95% of those movies, maybe 98% of those movies are about white characters. They are about white people. You rarely see a black or person of color in the center of these roles and rarely do you see them as background characters and if they are they're these stere stereotypes basically on paper right so they are not given the space to write about black love and black people falling in love and black people kind of like navigating that space that white people have been given in books so I really had to give them some grace. And so my anger kind of switched places back to where it originally was before. In restarting this channel, I went through my videos, which I have made all private. But before I, I made them private, I, again, like I said, I was, wa I was watching a couple of them and I got to a video that I made seven years ago talking about the cultural diversity in books or the lack thereof i'll play it for a little bit and then i will continue from there i will warn that this is just one bad editing into just a bad video in general in terms of like how it looks but we'll play it before we get started 
let me say that I'm not trying to step on any toes. One, two, I'm not trying to be disrespectful. And three, I am not trying to be racist at all. Bottom line is, it's you don't find a lot of cultural diversity well in the books that i read anyway ex like contempt especially contemporary romance it's very hard you don't see a diverse group of people in there i want to see a different group of people interacting with with each other it kind of shocks me when i read a book and the the main characters are um, white the side characters are white the bartender is white the taxi driver is white whoever shows up in this book is white so I don't know who that girl is. That girl is not me. That is not me anymore. I made that video when I was 25 and I don't know why I was so apologetic about telling the truth. I am not here to spare any feelings or to apologize for my feelings on something that has been reality for a very long time. I'm not apologizing to you. It is not racist to call out the fact that you only write books about white people and you've created a space where black authors feel that they have to put white people on covers and they have to write about white people in order to be seen and to be bought and that needs to change and yes I've seen more books that are coming out that are about black people for one one of my favorite authors for gay romance is Avril Ashton and one of the things that I love about Avril is the fact that she constantly puts black men on her covers when there are men. And she put people of color. And she is well known in the M slash romance community. She is constantly being recommended on these, um, in these groups and her books are very much anticipated in these groups but i know that she is not the norm she has transcended in a way i guess and is able to write about black men and even caribbean men i cannot tell you how i felt reading about people from my country and them using the slang that we use or talking about the food that i grew up on like i texted so many people about that i just one of the first book that i read by her was watch me break you and one of the main characters is jamaican and the first time i read like patwa in that book i paused and i went back and read it again like three times because i was like am i sure that's what i'm seeing right here it felt like imagine being a white person and being so shocked when your whiteness is shown in a book when somebody is being described as blonde or blue-eyed for the first time imagine that you cannot because that has been the norm you cannot imagine someone being described at, described as that for the first time because that is a norm when i hear somebody being described as dark skin i'm not even sure if they're saying black a lot of times I'm like, okay, dark skin is in tanned or what? Like you have to come out and tell me that this person is black because it is, because it is so abnormal for the person to be black. You have to come out and tell me that this person is Spanish or Latino. You have to come out and tell me that this person is Asian. You cannot just describe a skin color because the norm is white to the point where I'm going to think, okay, it just means like a very tan person, right? We need to do better. We really need to do better. And if me as a black woman can read a book about two men who are falling in love and still see myself in it, you can read a book about a black person as a white person and see yourself in it. It's funny how representation matters, but not in that way, right? Representation matters in the sense that I want to see people who look like me, but you as a white person, me as a black people can see myself in others that do not look like me. I don't know if that's, if that's very clear. So as a white person, if you say that you read books about white people, 
because you relate to them more, that doesn't make sense to me. Because love is simply just love. My love does not look different on the base level. My love does not look different than your love. So you can read romance. My fantasy does not look different than your fantasy. You can read fantasy about black people. Now, there is this discussion of whether white authors should be writing about black characters. For me, it's a yes and no. Overall, it's a yes. For me, personally, it's a not right now, I don't want to read it. Meaning, please write it, because there's so many people out there that want it and will read it. For me, I've read one too many books where you really don't grasp the essence of being black. You skirt over things. You skirt over racism that we face. You skirt over situations. You make this character that's filled with all these weird ass stereotypes that are not the norm for black people. And you don't get it. There's a book that I can't remember the name. I'll probably say write it somewhere here if I find it. But there's a book where it is, it's a BDSM book, it's in a BDSM series. The sub in that specific book is black. And the things that, I have not read the book, but I've seen quotes of the book from people who are like, do not read this book. And the things that I read is disgusting. The things that this white author wrote this black man to say who is very dismissive as of black culture and what it means to have a black community and be in that black community and what it means to other people and her not getting it. That's what I mean by saying, I don't know if I am ready for a book by a white author where the main character is black, but you need to write that book. I might not read it just yet, but you need to write it. And when you're writing it, you need to do your research. Call up your black friends. Actually, never mind. Don't call up your black friends. Like, that is not on them to teach you about black people. It's on you. So th there's enough videos. Google is a thing that exists. Never mind about calling up your black friends. I don't know if I'm the expert to talk about this. On some level, I am because I am a black person who takes in your books and pay for your books, whichever way that is. I have a right to be seen in this, especially because y'all aren't seeing black people in your everyday lives. And I think this is just another way for you to avoid blackness. I go into people's homes a lot and it's very interesting seeing their Christmas cards on their fridge, right? There's always just one person of color and that one person of color is there because they married a white person and that's how you know them. You know the white person and the person of color just happened to be their spouse. You don't have black friends, you don't have Indian friends, you don't have Latino, you don't have Muslim friends, you don't have Asian friends, which goes back to Indian, yes, I know. You don't have, your friend groups are not diverse. Your books are not diverse. <laughs> your school is not di diverse. Your neighborhood is not diverse. Nothing is diverse. Come on, do better. That goes out for authors and readers alike. Do better. Read about other people. Write about other people. Like literally, <laughs> you could do so much with your books and you just find the easy way out. Why is that? And so let's, I shifting back to where this started, I don't know if I will ever not feel betrayed by the fact that these black authors are not writing about black people or not putting black people on their covers, but I understand, I get it. I get where that comes from. I get that your books are more likely to be picked up because there's a white man on the cover or there's a white woman on the cover. I get it. And so I am willing to step back and not be too angry, but 
I want white people, white authors, white publishers to do better so that you can do better. And that's it. That's all I had to say. I hope you guys have a great day, a great week. I will see you in my next video. Um, keep stepping on their necks and demanding more. And I will continue to do the same. Talk to you later. Bye. I love how you're like, you don't usually emote like this. Because <laughs> that's so true. Um, I don't. It's, I do, like I said, I think you're definitely right that it's, being so frustrated that you just want to cry because it's like from all angles.